hello everyone welcome to another video on fact and in this video i'm just going to run through a reddit post where they have actually quoted a combination of what all products they have our projects that they have completed till now and what would be the upcoming products or projects that fagx has and would be taking up so before we get into the video and go through all the details uh, i'm not a financial advisor or neither is this the financial advice Please do your own research before we get into any token in the crypto space or the crypto universe out there. So having said the same old disclaimer, it's getting a little boring. I, I think I'll just add a small tag in the below and probably, but yeah, what's that? Let's move on with the video guys. Moving on, I mean, I've, I've been showing you FEGX and I've also given you details on how FRAP works, what is the advantage of staking FEG tokens, all this stuff. But this has a lot to do with the FEGX portion in place and we recently yesterday when you check out the video i did mention on the fiat to fact conversion that has come out so and that would be coming uh, coming because of the partnership with Guardian. so that's a uh, you know uh, a website or a portal where you can actually go ahead and uh, purchase cryptocurrencies with fiat that's good so let's have a quick look at all the particular you know achievements that fag has made in this particular seven months duration yeah uh, having said that let's go quickly one on one uh, or one by one i'm sorry with all the products or the projects that they have in place the first one is the exchange that is live up and running the fagx.com which has a good amount of pairs for you to go ahead and swap it also has fwrap it also has the liquidity pool i guess it's still yeah it, it's it's up and running i mean you need to connect a wallet so the bridge is still yet to come. The bridge function enables you to probably switch over from a Binance smart chain to a Ethereum smart chain or vice versa. Or in the coming days, I'm damn sure that this will not be the only two bridges that would happen. You would definitely have bridging to the Polygon network, or any other network out there, which is having its own blockchain. So that's a cool added feature because uh, it will be easy for people who by mistake, in fact, purchase a token on the bp20 platform but they want it to be on the ethereum platform there are chances yes uh, just to quote an example um, i personally had this own experience i bought shiba, shiba inu tokens on binance exchange and i wanted to transfer those to the wallet the gas fees were ridiculously high ideally it's a erc20 token yes i was unaware about it and i thought Sending it through the Binance uh, blockchain wouldn't make any changes to the token altogether. But what has happened when I saw those tokens in my trust wallet, uh, since I sent it through the BP20 network, the fee incurred was less, but the tokens were useless for me because they were on the BP20 blockchain and it did not have a swapping, uh, swapping mechanism that was there. And later on, yes, uh, I had to actually go ahead and swap them to SafeMoon tokens. How I did it, uh, probably it's just that i uh, you know swapped it on pancake swap and even provided a small amount of fee for the liquidity for that particular transaction alone so that's how i actually got rid of those tokens or swapped them to a proper binance smart chain token but yeah, in case people uh, actually do this mistake either intentionally or not uh, knowing about it uh, properly uh, so that is where you get stuck somewhere right so you would have invested a, mine was a small amount so i was not bothered much but there would be people by mistake they might have just clicked on the bp network to push the token, token across and that might have resulted in a, a you know a huge amount of tokens because, uh, rendered useless so if you have this bridge option enabled you can easily come over here just pay a single network fee and go ahead and swap your bp20 tokens to erc20 tokens this would make life much much easier guys and that is the reason why I really love FEG uh, as a token and the products that they're bringing out is revolutionary in the market. And they're, they're trying to do something new which is not existing in the market. The smart DeFi as they call it, definitely smart indeed. So this option is definitely something that a lot of people were looking into. Uh, I mean, as investors, we definitely would like to go ahead and switch over between Binance and uh, the ERC20 blockchains. Multiple times when we have certain tokens which are available in both the platforms, probably if I want, if I own a million token uh, tokens and the gas fees are like ridiculously high, then I would better prefer to send them through the Binance Smart Chain where the gas fees is much less. 
so yeah having said that um, i think this is a cool function it is not just like a normal exchange which we see or a swap which we see out there this bridge function definitely adds more value to it but if in case you guys know any other platform where this bridge function is existing or has been existing in other places please do let me know in the comment section below so that i can learn and get to know about it more as well so moving on if i come down where will go yeah we have the staking option with the seven rewards please do go ahead and watch my other video where i have clearly explained in detail on what would be the rewards that you would get you would be getting fbnb f eth f btc those are the uh, fake wrapped coins of btc bnb and eth ethereum and along with that you also would be getting the your own the fake reflections and your own liquidity pool pair that you would be given as a reward again fake wrap which is actually good the liquidity pool is also up and running there you can go ahead and provide liquidity pool and the faucet is there the fake faucet in case people do not know fake faucet is something which keeps accumulating a lot of tokens automatically these are tokens which are deemed as uh, for charity and anyone who is not even a fake user can claim these tokens so these are part of the transactions that would be happening a portion of them would be sent out over here so this the number gets accumulative and as and when you connect a wallet through trust wallet if you access it through the dapp browser you just connect your wallet and this number keeps running and when you feel that okay i can go ahead and withdraw these many tokens you just have to click on claim and once you click on claim uh, let me just zoom it for you i guess if the quality is not so good yeah uh, the claim button is here guys it's just a simple one one way button that is there so you can just click over there and then you will just have to pay the network fee at that point of time and you would be able to get all these tokens without any hassles to your wallet directly now this can be claimed by anyone and as and when the claim happens the number resets back to zero uh, you know and it starts over again so it, it it's actually a good option wherein even though you do not want to actually spend a, a lot of amount of, for like going through the you know option of pancake swap or ethereum uh blockchain where you have to pay a lot of gas fees you can simply go ahead and just extract this to your trust wallet which i guess is the cheapest option considering again the gas fees involved with ethereum network so that's what i personally feel this would create more options to all the so called uh, holders out there and even if you are not a person who has purchased fake or you are a person who has purchased fake you both can be equally eligible to claim this particular uh free tokens that would be uh, you know getting up accumulated the price per plus wallet beta is what it says so the stats details are yet to come they are still in progress i believe this will be a finished product in the coming months or for come uh, in the next one or two months period i i'm just speculating on the timeline i did ask the developers on the same and they were also not so you know uh, uh hardcore in terms of the date exactly for the launch they do not want to work like that they definitely want to bring out a product which is sustainable and stable i have been quoting this every single video pe it's sustainable and stable and usable for a long term in terms of the crypto universe or crypto space out there so whenever you want to build such a stable platform it definitely would take some time and effort and they want to ensure that they do proper checks before releasing it to the outside to the local, uh, market for normal usage so i guess we will just have to wait it out but yeah this will be also a good application to check out for the auto deployer yes we have recently got a quick update uh, yesterday on the telegram group i think it was also posted on twitter but i uh, didn't i mean i didn't find time to go ahead and check the twitter post over there but uh, yeah this is what it says ideally on the crux of it uh, fegrox actually spent close to around 24 hours is what he has quoted that on the auto deployer part and he is almost completed with it and uh, Uh, he did have a trouble in terms of you know getting the output uh, while coding it and uh, finally he has perfected the code and it's almost up and ready to be deployed so expect the new soft auto deployer being live and running in the upcoming few days in fact not even week a few days is what i would presume so this is also a very good option because this will enable the tokens to be self listed with all the contracts and the fra and the reward system built into it without any hassles and token listing now becomes much more easier for you any person who has created a token wouldn't have to go through all the integration part this auto deployer takes care of all the integration in the back end and definitely it will be a boon to all those new tokens especially where they do not have to spend a lot of time and effort in terms of listing process when it comes to other exchanges 
Now the smart DeFi, obviously a new DeFi token template is what they're planning on. I believe this will be uh, up in the upcoming months again, uh, no specified timeline, but yeah, this is coming. So we will definitely see much more features added up to the FegEx platform and FegEx will be one single bundle application or a portal, which would contain all these options bundled into one single platform. So I did ask this question because right now, if you look at it, the faucet is separate, the FegEx, uh, you know, uh, exchange is separate. You then have the Feg tracker app that is up and running, which will give you an option to track your rewards. That's a separate application. So I did check with them on uh, yesterday or day before, probably on one of their voice chats that uh, why, why do we have so many applications? Why can't we have everything integrated to one? To which uh, Fegrox himself actually went ahead and responded to it. Uh, again, through chat, I mean, not verbally, but uh, yeah, he did quote that they are already in plans and FegEx ideally would be the single integrated platform that they would be uh, building into. Uh, probably right now it's all in bits and pieces, but they're going to merge everything together in the coming days. So that's going to happen, guys. Uh, uh, that's definitely in line. And the last is your hold rewards. That's the wrapping mechanism. You can wrap any other token that you have with a FEG wrap that you will do, which will enable that token to get additional functionalities. So what are those functionalities? What are the advantages? Please do check out my other video, which I have done previous to this. So where I've clearly explained what is F wrap, what are the advantages of F wrap and how it actually enables additional functionalities for the token to happen. Simple one liner or one example I can quote is Mm, which token shall I take? Okay, I'll take Ripple XRP, right? XRP doesn't have a burn mechanism. I mean, at least on our tokenomics front, F wrap of uh, XRP will bring in tokenomics wherein it can have a burn mechanism in build. So that's as simple as it gets. That's just an additional functionality which I'm speaking of. So there are a lot more additional functionalities which uh, will be enabled for the token and which can again be controlled by the person who would be uh able to you know deploy their tokens over here so it's it's really a nice platform good things happening for fact i know I, I understand the price point if you can come down to the fact price it's down by 10 percent the volume is down by 36.21 percent but as i've always quoted we are in this consolidation period the hype has come the hype has died down now it's all up to the holders and the proper investors out in the space who are holding on to their tokens, who know that FEG has potential to grow, including me, I do definitely know that FEG has potential to grow. It does take time. So once the, once it's the right time for FEG to shine, then these, these prices would be historic. So it would just be like two zeros, three zeros. Yeah, we will definitely go ahead and uh, hit those. I would presume that by the end of uh, this year, at least one zero would be gone. That's the only prediction that I can do. Not more than that is what I prefer because of the time it would take to develop other products uh, in place. And since we have not actually got uh, any solid update or a timeline, right? I do not I do not like to speculate on just simply saying going ahead and uh, you know two zeros, three zeros. Yeah, FEG will reach one dollar. No, I do not want to do that. I would like to stick to actual mathematical calculations that would happen both in terms of the supply, both in terms of the volume. So my prediction by the end of the year, definitely yes, a zero might be taken off. And uh, we would ideally see, you know, see through the all time high is uh, what I presume. But yeah, let us check that out. I mean, it's at least halfway through the all time high is what I'm expecting or reaching the all time high is what I'm thinking of. Again, depending on how the product launches would happen, how many people would get into FEG uh, once the auto deployer is in? Um, I mean, uh, the user base as and when it increases, then obviously FEG being the governance token for the FEG exchange, it definitely has a lot of potential. The burn mechanism, if they plan to introduce further burn mechanisms in the future once the deployer is out and live, then that definitely would help in appreciating the price to a much higher level. So thinking on those lines, guys, my, my actual prediction would be like one zero cutoff by the end of this year. But then again, yeah, I'm free to be standing, uh, you know, correct. Uh, I am free to stand corrected. In fact, if the volume jumps up to um, an exponential level due to some big release in the product and uh, the next big news or uh, next big thing that I'm waiting for personally is for the Guardian platform, uh, which would be integrated to FEGX where you can directly purchase FEG tokens. I'm not speaking about the ETH and then ETH to swap to FEG. 
it's a direct purchase of fec tokens and many other cryptocurrencies i believe on the fegex platform using guardian that is directly your google pay your uh, credit cards and i'm not so sure on the debit card front but yeah it might be part of it and uh, in an earlier video regarding the guardian partnership i had just quoted that on the currencies front i believe that we can only use the euros and uh, uh, the turkish currency over here since only these two were listed but i did check with the developers just now recently a couple of uh, you know an hour back i guess so they did confirm that once i get through the api the api has listing of other currencies as well up to 50 currencies are supported in fiat and around 150 cryptocurrencies are supported for direct purchase through the guardian platform is what they have informed and i just did go ahead and check that out if i come down here if i come down for partners you go to the api and once you got down to the api you can come down to see api documentation this is your actual coding that gets integrated to other platforms for partnerships right so you can utilize this code for integrating this particular guardian app to your website or an uh, or a mobile application or anything other other than that where you would like to use so if i come down to the currency portion if i just go ahead and click on this fiat you can see fiat currencies i click on get it will open up the entire token uh, you know uh, the code uh, the code that is written out so here if you can just zoom in you can also see that uh, just a moment i'll just click on try it out i say execute you don't need to worry nothing happens it just runs the code and just probably gives you a result whether everything is working fine or not because you will be able to modify certain codes over here that's where so if you can come down you can just look at the amount of eight currencies you see that usd is there you see gbp is there that's your pounds you also see try the turkish lira that's already there in the front you also see chinese yuan you also see the danish krone so you see multiple currencies you see the ruble the russian ruble so it's basically like you it does support a lot of variation in terms of currencies and since this purchases would happen through the visa network and that's through a credit card i believe that the support will be extended to almost a uh, majority of the major currencies at least if not all the currencies then usd will definitely be part of it is what i personally presume but yeah uh, we will have to just wait it out and uh, check on how they are going to integrate it and how easy it would be for us to go ahead and purchase it but yeah this is confirmed that yes usd would be available and there are many other uh, supportive currencies as well who knows one of the currencies that they may support might be your local currency out there and i'm looking for a rupee because i'm from india so i'm looking for rupee to be part of the network but i'm not so sure i'm not going too much in detail in this particular code uh, but yeah if it's added it's added and it's much more easier for me to go ahead and purchase that would definitely improve the volume in the long run as well not only in the short run uh, probably we might not see a lot of price action immediately but definitely it would aid as a uh, you know a uh, mode where the volume would definitely jump up so tomorrow any big investor or any financial institution wants to get into or support this project it will be much easier for them to purchase the token directly through fiat avoiding all those gas fees the swaps and all those taxations that would occur in terms of the network fee the transfer fee and all those stuff so that will be easier for both the de uh, developer team as well as the purchase uh, party which will be easy that you just connect your wallet you just go ahead and uh, load in the fiat currency over there and it just directly converts you to the fag and gives it to you to your wallet so it's as simple as it gets right so uh, that's what i'm eagerly hoping for that would definitely increase the volume or propel it even more further so let's see how it goes guys do comment your views and let me know what you feel about fact token right now and uh, if you really feel that this is a good project why do you feel that this is a good project i would like to know your views personally so please do go ahead and comment in the comment section below please do like this video and also subscribe to my channel and watch more videos which are there on other tokens which i've made and also just a request please to share this video to a lot more people out there many of them might not be aware about certain aspects in the crypto space or cryptocurrencies where uh, i would definitely like to play my part in terms of providing education on the same and if in case you really want to want me to cover any specific topic related to any of the tokens where i have made videos in this channel please go ahead and let me know i'll be more than happy to you know go ahead and do that as well so thank you so much for watching this video guys have fun